Hello and welcome to Mobility Outlook. Today we are at Taneje Aerospace in Hosur, uh, where Continental is conducting their two-wheeler tech drive. Let's get into the event. Held recently at the Taneja Aerospace and Aviation in Hosur, Continental Automotive India showcased its offerings in Advanced Riders Assistance System, Advanced ABS, Connected Technologies, Software Solutions, Safety Solutions, Tires and Surface Solutions, among other technologies. Several two-wheeler OEMs participated in the exhibition and also witnessed the demonstration of innovative, intelligent and affordable solutions at the specially built test track in the private air strip. Prashant, thank you so much for your time. It's always uh, my so pleasure. happy uh, to see a lot of technologies uh, yeah. now being tested here. So what I wanted to know is the objective of this particular uh, initiative. Now, you know, every year we used to conduct this uh, tech drives. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, for the last two years plus, we never had an opportunity because of COVID. Then we, had, we thought this a uh, uh, better time for us to mm. have this demonstration. So this year what we thought is we will do two-wheelers separately mm. and four-wheelers separately and that's the reason we having this event for the two-wheeler mm. exclusively for our two-wheeler customers. Okay. TFT display. TFT based instrument cluster solution comes with BLE, Ethernet, optical bonding, video input and a touch screen. This platform is highly customizable as per the requirements of the OEMs. The next is hybrid display solution, segmented display with dot matrix for custom messages. The connectivity features enable the user to explore turn by turn navigation and mobile parameters to view on the cluster. The next one is generic vehicle control unit called as GVCU. The GVCU has been designed with multiple and customizable vehicle interfaces for different vehicle controls applications supported with an MBDS tool chain for safe and reliable application function programming. Wheel speed sensor. Wheel speed sensor transmits the wheel speed of every wheel to the anti-lock braking system. It's a piece of safety equipment that prevents the wheels of a vehicle from locking up under emergency, panic or harsh braking conditions. The next one is engine speed sensor. Engine speed sensor provides cam and crank position signal to the electronic control unit for the engine management and ensures increased fuel efficiency and engine performance. Electric Rotary Position Sensor The electric rotary position sensor is used in electric vehicles at the motor front end. This is to check the high speed rotor position sensor to measure the angular position of the rotor shaft in synchronous electric motors. The sensor signal is required for an efficient emission torque control used in electric and hybrid vehicles. Uh, but uh, what is the customer acceptance? Um, I, I believe uh, now many OEMs have visited already. What's the feedback that you are getting? Oh, we, we very, very encouraging feedbacks. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you have seen uh, all the new technologies which we have developed over the last two years. I think this is a better way to uh, demonstrate our technologies and also try and uh, uh, engage with our customers so mm -hmm. that they also can start uh, mm -hmm. uh, keeping in their mind in the product planning uh, proposal because you know any vehicle development takes one and a few years to two years mm -hmm. and we have seen a lot of interest uh, especially mm -hmm. on the connected uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, devices mm -hmm. and also on the surface solutions for that matter and yeah. also even for the tires yeah so across all the product lines including software as a service so uh, we, we, we have received a very encouraging feedback from our customers surface solutions surface solutions business division of Continental presented its flagship products Asilla Eco for seating applications for the two-wheeler market. Asilla Eco is a premium surface material used for enhanced performance in service life, reduced emissions and high perceived quality with good touch and feel. Design flexibility on Asilla Eco products gives freedom to designers to offer a unique experience to the end users. In addition, it is optimized with a reduced solar reflection that can help manage seat surface temperature requirements. But uh, uh, is the Indian two-wheeler industry matured enough to you know, accept uh, these kinds of technologies? Oh, certainly yes. Uh, the, for us as a continental, the biggest challenge is not the technology, honestly, because mm. we have got most of the technologies which is already available in other parts of the world. Mm. When you talk about India, 
how do we bring that at an affordable prices mm. how do you make it affordable that's the challenge which we are uh, mm. currently testing mm. i think uh, thus far uh, we have done uh, decently well in terms of bringing those technologies and affordable cars for example if you talk about abs yeah mm. we have a market share in excess of 30% mm. and we invested uh, front loaded uh, this uh, this thing and now we are also in the process of developing a new generation abs uh, which mm. you would see in the coming years uh, getting uh, implemented mm. Continental has arranged for demonstration of its innovative, intelligent and affordable solutions at the specially built test track at the Taneja Aerospace and Aviation in Hosur. It laid a track specially for this purpose, specially for testing two wheelers. Optimized curve braking. Optimized curve braking technology helps riders apply brakes efficiently in curves or turns. with a high tendency of accidents due to the wheels locking up abs first takes the angled position of the motorcycle by using lean angle information from continental's sensor box then depending on the incline the braking system control becomes highly sensitive to prevent wheel lock while providing good braking and steering this improves the vehicle's handling in curves making the braking process a lot safer As part of its advanced rider assistance system for two wheelers, Continental demonstrated the blind spot detection solution, which monitors blind spots for the rider on the adjacent lanes with a radar sensor. It provides visual warnings to the rider in case of any approaching vehicles. As an enhancement, this system can also indicate hazardous lane changes through the lane change assist feature. Rear facing radar sensors can scan the road area behind and next to the motorcycle warning the rider if a lane change is not recommended at a given point in time some of the technologies uh, showcased were you no know, uh, targeted at premium uh, premium motorcycles and premium two wheelers for example but uh, these are even required for the entry level Absolutely. because you no know, safety is uh, common for it but what is it uh, that uh, now continental is doing uh, okay if you look at the range of technology we have we are both both for the commuter segment mm. and also for the im segment for example mm. if you talk about uh, im segment for example uh, assisted uh, driver uh, uh, rider assistance Rest system yeah, yeah you saw the demonstration yes. which we certainly we know that this can't go into a commuter bike segment this is mm. more on the premium segment mm. but if you talk about some of the connected features what we have mm. then certainly that can get into the uh, commuter segments also maybe in 150 cc 200 cc bikes mm. as well so mm. certainly yes mm. there's a maturity the uh, product uh, implementation but some of the advanced technology like uh, uh, radar assistance systems mm. certainly we see that's in the im segment mm. i'm sure at least for next couple of years it may not come into uh, mm. the mass segment mm. but at least on the connected features you know mm. uh, we have seen our comforts at home we have mm. seen our comforts at office Correct. now whenever we drive or ride a vehicle we mm. would like to have the similar comforts in our vehicles as well yeah Correct. but at the same time bringing those technologies into to into automotive is a challenge because yeah. it involves safety yeah mm. it, that's the reason it requires a lot of time in terms of the development so we are sure especially on the connected uh, 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 space mm. we have a lot of opportunities even in the mass segment the next is digital service platform this system empowers vehicles with digital services to create seamless experience for the end customers and shared mobility fleet and logistics operators the services offered under this platform include key as a service live tracking geofencing user registration and management b2b interface smart booking and trip history telematics control unit connectivity is a key element in the automotive world and will even be more important in the future The 5G technology will enable future mobility by offering significant network improvements and benefits. Enhanced data rates, higher reliability and ultra low response times will allow real-time communication between vehicles, infrastructure and connected devices. With the latest mobile technology, Continental TCU helps further increase driving safety, comfort and efficiency. The next one is deflation detection system plus also called as dds plus this solution helps detect tire pressure loss by using a wheel speed sensor signal with no additional need for sensors 
the technology aids the vehicle's safety at an optimized cost by merely collecting data from the wheel speed sensor and projecting the tire pressure. Mobile Communication Unit Continental's Mobile Communication Unit is a key component to connect the vehicle with the internet. The product ensures access to local information from a platform anywhere, anytime. The mobile control unit has been optimized for micro-mobility vehicles. In combination with digital services platform, the mobile control unit instantly makes the vehicle ready for sharing operations. The next one is 48 volt battery management system. The 48 volt battery management system supports the features such as cell voltage, supervision and balancing, pack voltage and current supervision, SOC, SOH calculation and power prediction. The unit is also compatible with all the safety features and cyber security. The next one is scalable contact sensor system. This solution will typically include 2 to 12 sensors installed at optimal points in the vehicle. Once installed, the sensor signals can cover many use cases such as the detection of vandalism that is scratching or low speed parking incidents because these types of touch are each characterized by a particular sound signature. The next one is key as a service. Key as a service is a secure virtual key and telematic solution that offers a seamless user experience for vehicle access, start authorization and accurate vehicle data. The following solution is diagnostic solution by the technology company. It offers smart connected and learning solutions to provide effective support to the users in the service business. These solutions enable deep scrutiny of the vehicles to gather more details of their condition and their servicing needs. The next one is synchro chain carbon belt. Heavy duty timing belt featuring specially treated fabric, polyurethane teeth, carbon tension member and polyurethane backing for extreme applications including replacing chains etc. These belts reduce system width by up to 80% compared with the standard timing belts. And lastly we have Synchro Force Carbon Belt. Heavy duty timing belts in the specially finished fabric feature synthetic rubber teeth. It supports high acceleration forces and shock loads with a glass carbon hybrid tension member. So, uh, of the total uh, business Continental has, what is the percentage of two-wheeler segment now? Uh, uh, the products currently we cater to two-wheeler uh, industry that includes the ABS, mm. uh, that includes the wheel speed segments and also the uh, what you call the instrument clusters, uh, instrument clusters. Mm. And also we are working with some of the OEM for some of the advanced uh, mm. uh, technologies as well, including mm. the two-wheeler mm. architecture. So so if you can put a number, some percentage. Uh, it becomes very difficult to put a number to that, but maybe about uh, uh, 15 to 20 percent of the sales come from two With these technologies that you have demonstrated, yeah. you know, what kind of scope that you see in the oh, future? Oh, I mean, uh, we know last three years Indian mm. market is not growing in terms mm. of not mm. an exponential growth mm. what mm. we saw. Mm. Uh, we still we managed mm. as a continental to grow uh, mm. better than the market okay. but going forward our focus is how do we increase the content per vehicle mm. while we continue to focus on the volumes per se mm. but how do we increase the content per vehicle bring in this new technologies is what we are certainly looking at would it uh, do you see uh, doubling it in about three to four years yes yes yeah. okay and what about uh, technology for four wheelers? When are you going to demonstrate that? Oh, demo, uh, we have not uh, finalized the date yet, but mm. uh, certainly we'll be inviting you. Okay. <laughs> certainly, so we are planning for a four wheeler uh, tech okay. event as well, which will uh, involve uh, of the connected features and mm. also the architectures, mm -hmm. uh, with the high performing computing, mm. and also on the ADA side, uh, okay. autonomous driving uh, assisted functions. Assistant. Because when you talk about India, uh, L2 and L3 is, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's uh, it's not time yet. And okay. what we are looking at with the ESC getting uh, mm. uh, implemented in 2024 as mm. a mandatory, mm. so we see a lot of assisted functions taking up. Already you have seen okay. in a couple of cars already mm. this is mm. becoming a uh, mm. high-end feature. Mm. So we see uh, as a good fit for uh, Indian traffic conditions also which could reduce certainly the accidents oh. and the fatalities. Okay. Thank you, Prashant. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Very nice. Always uh, it's a pleasure talking to you.